Hello guys. Do you remember that I had this dream of collecting all the drawings from the drawing bingo workshop in here says into one drawing? My mission now or dream is to kind of stitch together these drawings into a, um, a city of uh, these fabulous creatures. The dream came true. Before taking a look at this gigantic piece of work here, I just want to give you some sort of background of what I wish to create with this um, illustration here. The atmosphere. Somewhere along in this process, I figured out I wanted to create sort of a portrait of this town Hirtshals in Northern Jutland. I wanted it to be reminiscent of Hirtshals and kind of having that vibration of Hirtshals and yet again without it being Hirtshals at all. It had, had to be magical, it had to be a place that did not exist it, and yet very much grounded in the reality of Hirtshals. I like this tension between these two worlds. Now I mentioned that I wanted to create this kind of fine Waldo effect. I don't think I succeeded, but I succeeded in, I think, creating this kind of magical atmosphere with a town full of weird interactions happening. But most importantly, my mission was to integrate all these selected children's drawings into one final piece in one um, style. And I think that this happened. Now let's take a look. And also I will provide you with some um, stories behind each character because they all have a story. The stories. Down in the corner we have a walrus. Here I immediately fell in love with this walrus here, drawn by a kid just two years old. I knew I wanted to keep those nice wrinkles. Now this was then coupled with a drawing of a walrus holding a letter in its teeth, about to post it in a mailbox. The rocks was inspired by my colleague hosting the workshop, who actually witnessed when a walrus came to Hirtshals. It was lying in a way almost blending in with the surrounding rocks. Moving to the ocean we have a crab fishing. This guy is a combination of this, a net, this rather abstract looking crab, I love it, this crab steering a ship, and this chef's hat made the crab into a chef. And I took this surprised expression to tell a story with this guy, an albatross hovering over him. And as you can tell, I barely changed this drawing as it was perfectly menacing. An element that I also did not touch so much is this amazing whale bus stop. Look at the tiny fish waiting in line. I thought it was fun to have the top of the whale splashing at the water level, looking like a rock when seen from the coast. The sharp viewer can also tell that I sneaked in some signs that this is not an ordinary whale. Next to the whale we have a scientist, which I also knew had to be in here. I really like the hat in this drawing. Quite early on, I got the idea of placing her in the water. Thus, I had an excuse of giving her a pair of chest waders, which is an iconic accoutrement along the coastline of Hirtshals. Let's go to the harbor area, see what's cracking. We have a place. I took the liberty of giving it this happy-go-lucky expression. And I can understand that it's happy because it's escaping these fish boxes here. This mouse here was a far stretch. My eyes caught onto this peculiar looking animal here. I don't know what kind of animal, animal it is actually. Um, but I took its expression and by using a little old drawing of a mouse I had, I created this harbor mouse, which is really a living life. Working hard above it is one of my favorite drawings, a jellyfish painting. Although it was tempting to have the bucket with paint on the top of its head, just like the drawing here, I chose to show its clumsiness by having it paint over the marum grass here, which is a plant that's very iconic of Hirtshals. Next to it may be my favorite of all elements in here. This is a combination of this pirate, notice the hook, the wooden leg and insidious expression, this bus and this cellar spider here. I placed the spider on top of the house, looking in awe at the bus. I can't remember when in the process, but I fantasized about this bus being a bus that could go underwater. Maybe it was because of its direction towards the ocean. I had so much fun placing seaweed and barnacles to show the many tours this bus has been taken to and fro beneath the ocean. 
And hey, who doesn't like drawing pirates? Here's a banana strolling towards the water. I have seen those slick eyes before, you might say. Yes, and that's because it's Lasse again, the same kid who drew the jellyfish. I remember at the workshop he actually ended up drawing like seven drawings in one hour, which is pretty amazing. Up here we have a centerpiece of the composition. The inspiration for this one came from a drawing which I think is no less than a stroke of genius. Look how much life Julia has given this lighthouse. This idea of having the lighthouse looking at us, the viewer, creates something really interesting, something at stake here. We're being watched. All I had to do here was to create a small similarity with the lighthouse in Hirsas. But again, not too much. I didn't want to make it completely like the one in Hirsas, but just sort of indicating it. Finally, just to fill in some places, I could not help adding a couple of swallows, a bottle, people from Hirsas would have fun with this detail, an old ship at the end of the rainbow, and then the clouds and rain is actually also very much inspired by a kid's drawing. The creative process. The first step in this process was selecting the drawings. After selecting the drawings, I started out getting more into detail with the story with how they could interact together. The next step in the process was to create a more fine sketch of all the drawings and kind of transform it into um, a unique style that could fit for all the drawings. It was a huge challenge to kind of puzzle all these amazing drawings with all their different styles and ages into one drawing. But once I kind of cracked the nut by finding one a style, it was just fun. I did the sketches all in Photoshop and then I took them into Illustrator where I could do the final uh, line work and coloring. How did I choose a style? Well, actually it was pretty simple because I'm very bad in Illustrator. So I just used the only tool that I know how to use, the pencil tool. And then in terms of colors, I actually took a drawing from one of the children's and then I took the eyedropper tool and selected up to, I think it was six or eight colors from this drawing, which then was my kind of obstruction. This was my palette for the whole work. And then it was just all um, work from here just doing the line work and doing the coloring, all the glazing on the cake really, and kind of fitting in the composition together. And as you can tell here, it took some time to fit the composition. Um, here you can see these five versions of how the kind of evolution of the whole composition um, went about. Maybe this work will become a banner measuring two meters times one meter and 30. Um, this could also be really fun to see and I think the format will work well. I want to say thank you all for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed looking at this process and seeing all these amazing children drawings. Till next time, have fun drawing.